Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen of YouTube, to another episode of my Brandenburg Let's Play. I've been thinking quite hard, guys, about how we could generate some more income. Even though we're generating a lot, I really want to pay off these loans and get rid of this corruption. And the main reason is because we could afford much uh, more wealthy advisors. That's the main thing. I really want that admin, but even more importantly, that diplo per month. It's a bit counterproductive, though, in my opinion, hiring a plus three advisor now because I want to get rid of those loans. So one thing we can do is I am over my naval force limit. I'm just going to get rid of all of the galley type ships. I think they are a thing of the past. We just want heavies, lights and transports. So uh, that at least gave us uh, around two ducats, which is good. Um, but if we look at trade here... I've been thinking we have such control over Novgorod and there's actually no nations who are collecting here at all. They're all transferring. So if we give, if we break this tra chain, if we break the chain, it's going to reduce our overall influence in Lebec. But our influence is getting really high. I think we'd prefer to actually boost the amount of income in Lebec. Uh, over here, it looks like Muscovy might be collecting with a 0.1. I hope that doesn't ruin us, but we'll soon find out. What I think is going to be better is uh, we have 22% here in Krakow, even without a merchant. So I'm going to move this from Kazan to transfer into the Baltic. And I'm going to move the one from Novgorod, not to Kiev, because we can see it's all going to Krakow, but instead to the Crimea. Because we have some influence here and that can pull some of the 4.4 uh, ducats here. So let's do that. As far as the Baltic Sea is concerned, I do definitely want to transfer here. We own most of the uh, influence. Um, but the Swedes have 30%. And if we stop transferring, so much of that is going to be collected in the Baltic Sea. Okay, so another thing I, we need to do is keep our members of the Empire happy. So I'll do some bestowing of some Imperial Grace. And the reason we want to keep them happy is no reason other than uh, we want to begin integrating them and don't want to improve our relations all the way if there's no need to do that. The other thing I've been looking at in between episodes is these guys have a tremendous amount of forces. I don't want to underestimate them by splitting our troops up like this. It's a bad decision. Uh, so I will, I'll sit on this fort and hopefully siege it down. And maybe his capital as well if we can see most of the troops up here. But we do have to be careful. It would be embarrassing to lose to them even though we're so much stronger. Uh, if our subjects do come down to help us... That would be fantastic. I will just keep on bestowing for relations all over the show, I guess. Obviously spending our imperial authority, but we gain a tremendous amount. We gain one ev more than one every four months. Um, that's pretty crazy. Okay, we can see Denmark doesn't have a... It's got the same dynasty as uh, Norway. Wow. We could actually PU him. <laughs> we could actually PU Denmark, I think, guys, if we could get a royal marriage with him. He'd be pretty... Uh, I think with the same dynasty as Norway, we would just inherit his throne. The only reason a Danish noble is succeeding the throne there is because he doesn't have or any royal marriages. Um, it's unlikely that by the time we can get the royal marriage, he will, I mean, uh, uh, have, still be around. But I I'll go for that. Why not? It will be a Diplo slot. We'll use up a Diplo slot. Speaking of Diplo slots, Mantua is using a Diplo slot. Why don't I um, integrate him sooner rather than later? 
as opposed to the nations who are not using a Diplo slot. Okay, are we doing okay over here? Do we have some allies coming, I wonder? Just integrated East Frisia, which should boost our control even more. We got 10 light ships apparently, and that's it. Okay, so we're over again, but I think I am gonna hold on to the light ships for now. Yeah, so it looks like we are pulling a lot more money out now from Krakow. It's still being transferred from Novgorod, and it's still being transferred from Kazan. Excellent. So this merchant is not doing much for us. He's pulling just over a ducat. Could he be... Although, you know, soon we could... I suppose we could just take this land and then he'd be, be pulling a lot more than that. But I wonder, is there somewhere he could be more productive like the Rhine? Probably. There's just so much money in the Rhine, I think... Probably going to be more beneficial there. Um, let's allow Muscovy to deal with this while we stroll back over to where the war is being fought. So I, I suppose we could spend our money to improve relations with Denmark to get that royal marriage. It'd be pretty hilarious, I think, to PU Denmark at this point of the game. Some of you guys might disagree. We should just feed it to Sweden. I do want to keep an eye on that disputed successions tab, and now that it's not just going to pop up. Um, let's give this to... Let's state it up, first of all. And then give that to the burgers. Start producing burgers in East Etten. East Etten. <laughs> East Etten burgers in East Friesland. 62% there, excellent. Yeah, it looks like we're pulling a lot more from the Rhine than we were from the Crimea. Okay, so I guess that's going to be the best we can do for now. Looking pretty good. Now, who are we going to integrate into our country next? We've basically got all of the trading areas except for that, which we're not going to be able to obtain. So if we wanted to improve our economy further, or the trade further, I guess it's it's this guy, right? Just um, total development. Either of these guys, any of these guys. Let's do it. Got more troops, which is good because we don't have the fl flipping manpower. So let's send them down to the battlefront. And uh, speaking of the battlefront, this war is not going so well. But of course, time is on our side. Huh. Um, we might be lucky and convert that before this ends. But I might spend the 25 admin there. Speaking of uh, how this war's going, why don't we... Forget this rebel siege. Let's make sure that these little nations like Holston don't feed away war score. I'm going to bring some troops, one of my stacks, over to uh, be nearer to them. We're about to be capped on military. Shoot. Why don't we raise war taxes? Because we really need money, but our military is about to bleed out. Even if we could tech up at the cost, it's going to give us unbalanced research. So we're not going to tech up. I guess it's time to do some military uh, production, guys. Development. Develop some fools. Oh, Verdin's not happy. That's because we uh, have been annexing subjects. Oh! Well, that's a bad time to get that, but I'm not going to complain. That army tradition. Oh, baby. I think this is going to be the highest our army tradition has been all game long. We're about to be at 83. Okay, I guess we're going to develop the heck out of some land. So we are accepting Polish, and I actually feel like the Polish region 
or the here, the Prussian region. These are the two best regions to develop because of how cheap they are with the grasslands and the farmlands. So let's do it. This is going to help us with our uh, manpower a lot. Spent a lot of military there, man. Let's have a look. 83 armor tradition, oh baby. It's good. It's real good. Okay, we just took the dude's capital. Um, should we try back Dorim? Dally and get him out of this war? Or should we try and... Um, support these guys. I think we're going for the BD guys. I'm trying to back Dorim. Oh, nice. We did convert that before this mission ended. It's hilarious. So now it's got a negative 5% missionary conversion modifier, but we already converted it, suckers. I'm just going to chill out near Brand Beast. Not Brand Beast. Burger de Beast. Chilling out near the Burger de Beast with his six star general or ridiculously OP generals that he seems to just get all the time, apparently. Um, but I'm keeping an eye on Delhi. Oh my lord, they've got a lot of troops. Okay, let's let's back up. Oh my lord. It's not keeping a close enough eye at all. Now these forts are ah, only the one fort is in the mountains. It would be good if we could catch them here. That would be a good place to fight. Let's get the land maintenance modifier uh, general. That's way better. Feels good, man. And I guess, look at that, 40 ducats, 63% of 40 ducats. That feels pretty good. Um, The Lubeck trading region actually was weakened quite a lot when we did integrate those nations, you know, that were pulling there. Uh, we're actually struggling to integrate nations because we are the rate that we're integrating them. You get this negative modifier. Uh, so that's a bit of an issue. We might have to chill a little bit. But I'll keep bestowing two nations I haven't. Okay, that's dry lands, eh? Well, it's too late. I've already committed here. Good luck, team. Oh... It's been a while. It has been a while. A stickety stack wipe. Scotland, 60 years. Ooh. 184 development, Scotty. Scotland? Shoot. I want to pee you. I want to pee you the world, guys. I'm going to just casually pee you the entire world. Using our Diplo slots is pretty rough, man. Pretty damn rough, if I do say so myself. Forget Denmark. Let's try to PU Scotland. I'm hoping he walks onto the mountains, but he doesn't seem to want to. Either way, we've got reinforcements coming. Winning those battles like that is what we need to move this war along. This guy doesn't even know what he's doing with his life. I think maybe... If we do something like this, it might prompt him to do something different, maybe not, I don't know. Could tick up for negative 15 here, which will improve our economy. Let's do it. I think negative 15 is reasonable. There we go, and now we can take a military idea, fantastic. Fantastic! Uh, I'm tempted to just tick up for the military idea. I will wait. We'll wait. There's no hurry. It's okay. We're not about to be capped on military. It's okay. Screw it. Going for the plus three, guys. I, we're so far behind in, in Diplo. I'm going for the plus three there, and it's trade. Trade feels good, man. It's going to give us some money. We need that plus three in 
can we, while we have a truce, can we get some power projection from insulting him? No, damn it. I fear that soon the Ottomans will be an invalid rival if we keep expanding and keep winning victories over him. And uh, then we're going to be really struggling to get any power projection anywhere at all. Damn it. So the truce with the Timurids comes up shortly. Uh, he's got damn good diplomacy, actually, these two guys. That's unfortunate. But he's really well located for us to just smash him. Speaking of smashing, I th let's just commit to this battle over here before we uh, actually lose the siege. Even though we're outnumbered, six shock feels good. Everything feels good. The brand of beast ideas. Get Recarinoed. Win these battles. Like it's nobody's business. Looks like we might have ticking war score or we're damn close to it. Haha. Uh -huh. So here we can take a stability. I know exactly what we're going to do with it. We're going to uh, cancel one of these failed relations. Here we go. These are using, putting us over our Diplo slot, so I'm going to cancel that there. And then boost Arena the stability. What the? What's going on? It's weird. I would suggest that we fill the requirements there. Um, let's wait for a month. Okay. Needed a month to register that time. That doesn't uh, usually uh, seem to be the case, but that's fine. Back up to three stability. And now we gained one stability a month. Uh, one diplo a month, I suppose. Or rather, we're not losing one a month. On Monarch Death, he gets a personal union with Ethiopia. Interesting. How big are you, Mekuria? Probably not worth the slot, really. He's 100. We can f almost take him out on... An, well, actually, when we get admin efficiency, we would be able to take him out in a single war. Um, probably not worth the Diplo slot at this stage. We'd probably have to fight Ethiopia over that throne anyways. So, I don't think I'll... I'm not too worried about the PU of him. That little guy. Hmm, this is awkward though. Dali is just so big here. Why don't we, uh... Cancel his relations with... Dali. Oh my gosh, it's so... It costs so much. The war score, it costs so much. Why? Damn. Even with the Holy War CB... So, so expensive. All right. I guess we are going to try and uh, kill Delhi. I don't like the stack being here, though. Let's walk the long way around. This is where all the action's going down, because we just need to take one fort before we can uh, siege his capital, or two. It's hard to say. Maybe we need to take two forts, actually. But still, I don't like being... Uh, Let's just consolidate everything up. If you know what I'm saying? We must be getting close to being able to pay off a loan for once, which is nice. <clears throat> and our ticking war score has only just begun, so let's just have a little patience. Nice, nice, nice. Bring your troops around here. Walk into the mountains where I will roll over you, even though you outnumber us, because we are vastly superior. Why don't we roll another military leader? Yes. Nice military leader there. Feels real good. That's something we can spend our military power on. And this has some damn infantry in this stack, which we desperately need. Because our manpower has, is so kaputified. Yearly tax. Damn, that's going to give us a nice modifier, I imagine. To 
our income. Ten percent increase yearly tax. That was almost freaking ten ducats by the looks of things. Okay, we got a good amount of infantry in this stack now. Uh, do we just rush in? Can we outmaneuver him, I wonder? No, he, he will make it there first. Um, our general's just so much better. Um, obviously we would win that battle. That's not what I'm considering. It's just that... It would be quite costly even if we did win, you know? I think let's just wait a little bit for some allies to get nearby. Okay, I think I like this. Keep these two stacks split up. Wow, he's got zero. Zero shock. Oh my gosh. This might be another stack wipe, guys. Defensive engagement. Oh, beauty might. Beauty might. Feels real good. Still, the Scots still don't have a dude. If we would peace out, I'm pretty sure we could ally him and grab the dip. Yeah, we could. Oh, man. If he was not at war, we might be able to PU him. Whereas if he is at war, we'll put our dynasty on his throne. I could truce break to PU him. Um, you know, I, I actually don't want to use an alliance slot there, though, you know? But the distance makes him so hard to Royal Mary. Uh, let's make him friendly, and he might turn friendly with us. Let's see. We'd have to be pretty lucky, guys, to get the PU there, honestly. His ruler is really old. He'll probably die at any point here and get a Scottish noble. Holy crap, they've got so many troops. The amount of troopage from Delhi is remarkable. Seem to have caught this guy again. Allies, back us up, please. We almost won the battle and perhaps stack wiped before he reinforced. It was damn close. Our reputation was sabotaged. That's not nice. Yeah, see, that's what I was worried about is these... Uh, oh... It's not a very nice event. Um, I was worried about these uh, battles being so costly, you know? Because we don't have so much manpower. Ah, it's a shame. We're going to begin replacing these infantry with mercenaries. It has to be done. There it is. His throne it was literally secured a day ago. Ah, rip, rip dreams of PUing. Scotland. The Scots. War exhaustion is way higher in Delhi. Um, yep, yeah, so let's get some forts. Let's get some forts siege down and piece that fool out. Paying off these loans is a good way to gain some income. I was going to go up there, but forget it. Let's just push nearer to his Capitola. Level 4 forts. Awkward. Do some bestowing. Once again. Let's all be friends, guys. I'm going to incorporate you into the realm. Why are you so mad? Why are you so mad? Mad because bad. I'm surprised I can't have access to that province. Like, as if... Oh, yeah, I'm being blocked there, I see. I see how it is. Hmm. 
Hmm. Um, let's not raise our war taxes again. We have mili we have something to spend our military on, and that's our military idea that we are soon going to unlock. Which, by the way, is obviously going to be defensive, because defensive is going to give us the reduced fort maintenance, the reduced army maintenance, which is going to help our economy massively. I mean, look how high our force limit is, guy. We're at, we're at 70 out of, what was it, 270. Uh, so that's how much uh, money is going to benefit us right now. But obviously, uh, also the the morale is going to be beautiful, and more importantly than the morale, even the army tradition. We want to keep our army tradition as high as possible, and that yearly army tradition will help do the trick. Oh gosh, let's go back or fall up here, fighting with the negative ones in the highlands. If we can make it in, though, should be just fine. Get Rickaronied. So his enthusiasm must be waning at this rate. If we could just siege some flippin' forts from him. Then obviously this guy is 100%ed, which feels real good. And I guess we'll jump straight into a war with the Timurids, I suppose. The Timurids, I probably won't piece out his allies, to be honest. We'll probably just fully siege him up, get some war score and piece him out with what I can. It's just going to take so long, I suspect. Oh, I'm concerned it will take so long. Um, we, we're at three stability. Why don't I take yearly prestige? Aha, forget the Timurids. Back to the... Back to the Ottomans we go. These damn guys, dude. I hate you, Ottomans. I hate you, Ottomans. How about I try... Oh my gosh, he's got so many troops. The guy's just a beast. He loses the, the wars. He just doesn't even care. He's got considerably less uh, units than he did in the previous time that we declared on him. And I guess Hungary is ready to help us this time. Uh, Ethiopia did help us last time. We can call him in again. Uh, I will be hesitant to do that, though. Hey, how's our trust look with Austria nowadays? A lot better. Nice. Oh, wow, wow, so many people are pissed off. Let's make sure they're not so pissed off. Holy crap. It's because when you annex a subject, guys, you do you see how much negative modifier we get with him? It's crazy. Let's um sort that out. This this, this, this is not good. Uh, because I want their money. I want your money. I don't mind if Austria's pissed off. Uh, Cologne, Brabant, sort those two out. Lorraine, that looks like it. Surprise, Lorraine's so mad. He's, uh, a one province miner. Calm your boots. Calm, cool your pants, Lorraine. <gasps> 10 years of 15 morale. Wow. That's good timing as well. So we're going to go in against the Ottoman Empire of the the Ottoman of the Ottomans. Wow, this guy's really close to piecing out, and he's going to win that engagement by the looks of things. Well, we don't need to sit on these sieges then, but I'm afraid I won't be able to reinforce them in time. We will soon see. Hmm. We can lose some mercantilism here. That's okay. Oh, wow. Hmm, I could retreat. I could retreat. Hmm. Or we could go all in and then just piece him out after he gets wrecked. Um, hmm. 
Let's just be a little bit more patient. I'm sure we can catch these guys out somewhere over here. Okay, this disaster is a bit of a problem. Um, I might have to revoke some control they have. That might be the best solution if we look at estates. They're pretty key. The locations that they do have are pretty key for us. So that's that's quite awkward. Huh. What a shame. I only recently added this, but I think I will remove it and re-add it later. Because it solves the problem. Oh, you are dumb. You are dumb. You do not want to go in here, my friend. This is going to be one big pile up, I suppose. And then, uh, we peace out. Right? We peace a full out. Oh my gosh. This game sometimes. Okay, ticking up for negative 15 on Diplo, meaning, uh, we can... Now we're a little bit less worried about unbalanced research. That's good. Guys, closer and closer and closer to piecing out. I've noticed in terms of their enthusiasm, they don't like having their forts being sat on which is quite new. You see that? He, he's more willing to peace out now that we're sieging that fort. That certainly was never the case, you know, for most of my time playing this game. But lately, they don't like it. They're like, yes, okay, we give up. All right, so let's peace this guy out. And I guess just like most episodes now, like, no, what the? Oh, man. I think we go for the stability, guys. When this happens, usually I value my stability more because it's admin. But we can get it from the Pope. We're at plus three. Dude, I want that army tradition, man. It helps so much. The morale of armies, the recover of manpower, let alone the good generals that it helps us with. Losing stability. What a nasty event. Get a life. Don't give me these events. Alright, I was going to say that uh, just like most episodes, we seem to be in this spot. Uh, we're going to be piecing out and gearing up for a war. And by gearing up, I mean walking all the way over to, uh, to fight the Ottomans once again. And uh, in before... God dang it, let's kill these rebels. It's... Uh, Yay! A merchant! Fantastic! Fantastic. And global trading power. Is that another loan to bear? Yes! We have an East Indian trading company, guys. Even though we're on the west side of India. Do you, do you feel me? Do you get me, guys? <laughs> it's a little bit convoluted. But I think the idea of an East Indian trading company is uh, the East Indies. But we're, we're in West India, guys. That's where our trading company is. Um, sweet. Merchant's going to help us with some money. Not sure the best place to put them in. Obviously, we can get some from the Crimea. Where can we pull to the Rhine? We don't have much control in the Rhine. Maybe uh, Saxony. Just pull into Saxony. It seems like the obvious choice initially to just get a little bit more gold in there. Now we have Holy War CB against Delhi. Um, okay. Cool. Let's... Ah, the, they did finally walk away. Those peasants decided to walk off my land, which is what I thought they would do initially, and then they didn't. Uh, but very good. Very nice. Feels good, man. So I think we're going to gear up to war against the Ottomans, guys. 
and uh, we're making some money, which is good. By the time we get over here, it's going to be a fair, decent amount. I think what I'm probably going to do, because we usually find that the battles... Um, I struggle on the battles, you know, we siege their whole country down. But at the moment, the Ottomans are sitting here with a gigantic stack. So I'm actually going to gear up by literally placing my units here and here and just rushing in against them and winning an initial battle, which will give us a nice lead. So unfortunately, it takes a little while to walk all the way out there, but at least we'll be gaining some manpower, etc. Whilst we do that... Um, yeah, feels good. So hopefully this time we'll have a much more uh, decisive victory over the Ottomans if we just win some battles right off the front. Looks like Hungary is fighting the Spanish. Ooh. Oh. Hello. Interesting. I think the French are no longer allied to Venice due to what is ha occurring here. Let's quickly check... Yeah, interesting. I could attack. I could attack Venice here and feed that to Mantua, but the problem is he looks like he's getting absolutely rolled over, and uh, it's going to be hard to get the occupations there. But either way, his diplomacy is garbage, so we'll keep an eye on that. Um, Ethiopia will help us, but Hungary won't. Okay, interesting stuff. Back into the Ottomans we go, guys. I don't know where I will take, to be honest, to cut them up. Um, but I do kind of personally feel like cutting them up is a, a good way to go due to the fact if we look at his un-Sunni provinces... Wait, he got plus two to... Hmm. He got plus two to um, his sort of stability somehow. Still, it's definitely plausible that they do revolt. Huh. I could wait until perhaps Tunis doesn't want to back him up as well and break their relations. That might be an option. Yes. Nice. We'll be able to break his relations with Tunis. I had that in the back of my mind that um, at some stage we do need to spend war score on breaking his relations as well. Okay, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed. I've been enjoying playing this. Let's try to minimize the manpower losses by having one of our troops uh, move a little bit more slowly out to here um but yeah war with the ottoman empire coming up next hope you guys have been enjoying and i'll thank you very much for watching i'll see you next time